Okay, so now we're recording. I can do it again. We're gonna. I'm just gonna be showing today, or good morning, whatever you want to say, afternoon, evening. I'm gonna be showing a three to four pip scalping system. One minute time frame uses one hour candles. Uh, two different ways we can do it. It's it's a pretty simple system. You'll pick up on it real quick. On a trending market, it's very effective. Um, it does take a little bit to get used to, but it's pretty simple. Okay, so next, hold on. Just had a mosquito on me. Yes, middle of winter with mosquitoes. Got above South Texas. Okay, so the first thing I'm be doing is create. Um, since this is a webinar, plus I'm recording it, uh, I'm gonna create the indie pack for y'all, and then move it over to a, a different version of MT4 for me, so that y'all can just do it along with me. Once I create the indie pack, I'll share it. Y'all can download it and then walk through installing it yourself, as I install it on my other MT4. So first, we need the indicator list. And okay, let me do file. Oh, son of a bitch. File, open data folder. Indicators. Okay, indicators here, and then on the other screen, I'm going to be creating. Uh, da -da -da, create a folder. Create a folder. New folder. Indies. Okay, now let's get our indies up that we need. Should have done this yesterday, but sorry. I was freaking tired. Don't need that one open. Indicators. Okay, so the first one we need is M candles. M dash. And I can't drag and drop because it actually moves them. M candles. So this is the first one. This creates hourly candles when we set it up on the other computer or the other. I'll show you. Next one's going to be inlines. That's these red lines you see. And I'll explain what those are. The next one's orders indicators. Um, here, so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so the next one's orders indicators. That one actually has to come from the marketplace, and I will show you how to get that one once we are going. What am I doing? Oh, duh. Why are we being such a pecker? There we go. So this one, orders indicators, uh, that one is from the marketplace. Next one's going to be change background color. This is optional, but it will go... Let's get it over there. Change background color changes the background of your MT4 at a certain time that you set up. Uh, BO clock TRO modified. So that's the time down at the bottom right. Again, we're going to go over it a little more once I'm setting this up on the other one. Copy. Paste. Uh, Urban Towers Ultimate Edition. We'll get that one. That's the second, you can either use it or not. There's going to be two different ways you can trade with this. With that one, we also need Rainbow, because it runs off it. So I'm going to put it in there. You don't actually need it on your chart. You just need it there so it can run. OK, so we have two moving averages. Those are built in. You won't need me to put them. And the last one is Color Dock. I'm not even going to try and say it today because I will just screw it up. For some reason, I thought I was muted this whole time and I was talking to myself. It happens. I've done it a few times, and then y'all ask, Is there any sound? And I'm like, I've been talking for a freaking half hour. Okay, so that's all the indicators we need, I believe. Yes. So, oh, wait, we need the EA. Indicators list, paste that, 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 new, yeah, folder, and did I close it already? No, I didn't, good. So we need the EA, so let me get that for you, MQL, experts, we're going to be using auto stop 2, this is something y'all should be familiar with. There is a more technical one that I might use, but for now, I, like I said, so when I'm teaching, I try and use the simplest ones I can. 
paste. And I'm guessing we'll need a template for y'all. Uh, the template actually, well, let me give you a simple one. Let me remove one thing here. I'll give you the core template. And then I'll save another one as we get going. Template, save template, FF core, uh, Dropbox, FF fun, and save. All right, so now let's give you the link. Share Dropbox link. Okay, so here's the link of all the indicators you're going to need. Y'all can go ahead and get those. And let's see. I can close this now because I won't need anything else off it. So I'm going to move over to another copy of MT4. Um, what I'm actually going to do, I'll take a five minute break so y'all can get those downloaded. I got to go pee. I'm, like I said, I'm running behind. I, I do have to go pee. Um, get the down indicators downloaded. And from here, I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to do it exactly like y'all would, and install them here and set them up. So if you've never set up indicators or just, well, most of you, let me see who's in chat. One, two, three, four. I think everyone here set up indicators for it, but just in case you haven't, I'll walk you through doing it. Again, this is going to have two different versions of it depending on how you want to run it. So give me five minutes while I go take a piss. That sounds good. Uh, let me pause the recording, too. Uh, okay, so... All right, I'm back. So that pause should have let you download the indicators. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, the indicator link will be in the instructions, or if you found this on the forums, the link to the indicator will be on whatever forums you're on. So the next step we want to do first is open up your download. You're going to have three folders, EA, Indies, and FF Core template. The FF's for Forex Fun or Forex Friday, whatever the hell. Next up, MT4. You're going to click on File. And this is the easiest way to do this crap, trust me. Open data folder. If you need me to slow down, say so in chat. Okay, once you've opened the data folder, you'll see MQL4, click that. Go to Indicators, click that. And then we're going to go back to our Download folder. We're going to go into Indicators, because that's what we're doing. Click the top one, hold down the Shift. Click the bottom one. And just drag those puppies over into it. And I'm going to replace. You can skip, it means you already have them, but these might be a slightly different direct version. So replace might be best for it. Now up arrow, we're going to go to EA. Over here, you just click the word MQL4, and we go to Experts. I already have this here, Auto Stop 2. So uh, I'll put in the, nah, screw it. So you would do the same thing, drag it over to here. And then we can close, and we can close. So now what I'm going to do is right click here. Eh, shut up. Right click here. I'm going to go to template. Oh wait. So the indicators are there. The next thing we need to do is make sure your MT4 can see them. So just go into click the navigator button. You can either close MT4 at this point and reopen it or if you're lazy like me, go into the navigator button and go through your indicators and you should find one that has, like, here's 2MA crossover price. Find anything that has a yellow dot. This one has a gray dot, so it won't work. This one has a yellow dot. Just right click on it and go to modify. This is if you don't want to reboot it, it's turn off MT4 and turn it back on. If you want, you can do it that way. So, is what we're going to do then is click compile. It should say zero arrow, zero warnings. If you get a warning, pick a different one and do it over. Now that we've done that, all the indicators are loaded up. What that does is it forces MT4 to refresh itself and look at all the indicators, and it loads up all the ones we just dropped in. So we can close that. And now let's go to Template. And we're going to Load Template. I'm going to go to Dropbox. You can go to where you downloaded it. Son of a bitch. FF Fun, and there's my template. Okay, so my template's loaded up. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to load it up on all my charts. And I guess I could give this one to y'all. I have something that says copy template to all charts. So I'm just going to double click that. And now that template's on all my charts. 
I know, I know. I'll, I'll link that right now. Give me a second. File, open data folder, MQL4, scripts, and I'm going to link that one for you all too, so don't get your panties in a bunch. Copy, paste. That is in the, f it's in the packet. Uh, it says copy template all charts. If you put that in the scripts folder in MQL4, what happens is when you run that script, it then changes your template on all your charts. So all my charts now have the same template. All right, next thing is we're missing one indicator, which is called orders. We're going to click on terminal. We're going to go to market down at the bottom. And I'll make this a little bigger for you so you can see it. This is my junk account that we're going to use today. It's got $9 in it. I think that'll work. I'll just do 0 .01 lots in it. I was going to throw 40 in it, but we'll see. Okay, so then you're going to click on Applications. Is everyone there? Should I pause for a minute? Ugh. We're going to go to Free, because we don't want to pay for shit. And then it's going to have a search box right here. Just type in the word Orders, O-R-D-E-R-S, for you who can't spell. And you're going to see it, the second one, click Orders Indicators. Now there's two things. See it says Register MQL5 Account. You will have to do this if you haven't. It's pretty easy. I've already logged, got one, so Brian, now let's see if I can remember it. Mm, no. Yeah, let's try this. If you don't have an account, you'll click right here and it'll let you register one. This could take all day because I don't remember them. I think I use a Facebook login. Let's try Ryan Mac and CRIS. There we go. So now I'm logged in. So if we go back one, go to the orders indicator, I already have it, so it's not going to give me an update or a download button. If you already have it and you have the older version, it did quit working for a while. Click update and it will start working again. Otherwise, click download. It will install it for you. Now where it's going to put those is if we go into indicators, make do, 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 do. it is not going to go into your normal. It's going to go into market. And these are all ones I've gotten off the market. And it is right here. So let's just confirm it's on my, yeah, it is on there, so we're good. Okay, is everyone up to date? The orders indicator isn't 100% necessary. It's so you can go back and review. If you're doing any type of Forex trading, use orders indicator. It's how you review your charts at the end of the day. All right, so the next thing we want to do, time frame, M1. Again, I'm going to cheat. Scripts. Uh, do I have an M1? Change time frame, M1. So I'm going to change all my time frames to M1. And I guess, do y'all want the change time frames across the board? If you so, I can link that for you too. I c it's M1, M5, it, every time frame right here. It changes all your, all your charts to that time frame. If you want it, I'll link it. Let's just link it. And again, file. It's open data folder for your. This is where you're going to install it. You're going to go to MQL4 and scripts. I am going to put the source code in there with it. This way I can be lazy and not have to. Uh, let's just create a folder that says scripts. People don't get confused. Folder S C R I B T S. Scripts. Move 
move to scripts and okay so change time frame scripts and the copy template to all chart scripts are in there now I'm trying to think of anything else force industry download y'all wouldn't want yeah we're good then Okay, so as we're sitting now, you should be on a one-minute chart. Um, let me find one, see if we have anything that looks decent. In a second, I'll go through the settings. I'm just seeing if we have anything that might possibly be setting up in a bit. And no. Okay, so let me find one that's going to be easy to explain. Okay, so we have two different colors here. Let's start off with... Indicators list. Uh, top of the one, M candles. So, let me bring this over here so y'all can see it. What I'm looking at. M candles. TF bar needs to be 60. The template's going to do it for you, but 60 means that you're going to have one hour candles. If I changed it to 240, that'd be a four hour candle, just so you can see what it does. Okay, you see how. We have a green candle, big these big candles in the background, that's four hour candles. But we want one hour, so we're gonna change this to sixty. So now we have one hour candles on a one minute chart. You can see there's the wick on the one hour candle. So it is a full one hour candle. And it's you have sixty little candles inside it. Next indicator, inlines. Inlines, we're going to set it to 40. I'm going to show you a 4-pip scalp, but you can do 3-pip scalps. It depends on the chart. So 40 would actually be 4.0, which is, you don't have to put the decimal in, and it means 4 pips. So now, there's price. Above and below, we have a 4-pip line following price. I'll explain what that's for in a bit. Change background color. We're going to put 5.0 and 5.0 in about 25 minutes or 20 minutes. You'll see what that does. Uh, color before red, color after black. You put this to what it, the color after needs to be the current background color you have on your chart. If you loaded the template, it's black, but if you change it later, I'm going to change it to check interval five seconds. Uh, this one, no need to do anything with it. It's B clock modified does have some settings, we're not going to get into them, blah. It's the clock down here. It gives you the price, and it gives you time till the candle closes. Next one, moving average. Let's go over these. We're going to use a period 5 moving average with a shift 5, exponential. You can use whatever color you want. I'm using tomato. Uh, let's make it a little brighter for this today. I'm going to use deep pink. See how that looks. Second moving average is just going to be five. No shift at all, please. Exponential, apply to close, lime, and I made it a little bit thicker. Color stochastics, you do have to go in. The template's going to do this for you, but if you ever do this from scratch, just so you know. All this stays the same, but down at the bottom, everything's false. We don't want any alerts from this. It's a kind of a buggy little indicator. And overbought, oversold, we're going to move that to 90 and 10. Now that's important because that is not in the template. You do need to change that to 90 and 10. We're on the one minute chart. If we're on a 15 minute, I would keep it 80, 20. Five minute, probably 85, 15. One minute, I go 90, 10. And in some cases, I'll even go 95, 5. Let's see what that did. 95. So you can see what it looks like now. Let's go 95, 5. Reason being is on the one minute, I'm looking for more extreme moves, and then close. Now we should be all set up. Let's zoom into a reasonable area. Okay, so that's it. Now do this template, save template, and I'll do FF Forex Fun 1.8, because that's today's date. Make sure you save it as a template because we did do some minor changes to the one that I gave you. Okay, so rules for this. We always want stochastics to be coming up if you're going to take a... Tr oh, I did forget one thing. Let's go back into indicators list. Go to color stochastics. 
go to levels is that everyone there go to cover cover stock go to levels click add we're gonna put in 50 right now it's silver I'm gonna make it aqua and this is all up to you and I'm gonna put in a dot dash so this gives us a 50 level what's that mean zero stock is based off of a zero 100 so we're gonna put in a 50 right in the middle so that cuts our stock in half okay so I think that's everything we should all be set up to this so again since we made one more change template save template and find the one you saved click on it and click save say do you want to overwrite yes so we're, we should all be caught up now right let me up if you did it you have the script now so let's apply that to all charts and it's applied next we want to make sure auto stop so you can hit F7 or you can right click go to expert advisors and properties on the common tab alive allow, allow fuck me allow live trading needs to be checked let's go to inputs we're gonna use 4.0 which means we're gonna be looking for a 4 pip take profit 4 pip stop loss this is a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio this is the equivalent of binary options trading with forex so you need a very high ITM percentage well not very high you need it over 50 percent actually you need it over 60 percent because a take profit does not make as much as a stop loss due to commission so this is your binary options version of forex trading so if you like binary options trading, here's your equivalent of it. Okay, we're going to hit OK. Everything's set up now. Since this one was the set up correctly, we know all the other ones are set up correctly. And now let's see if we can find any trades. Okay, so the rules for this. Uh, stick to them and you'll do well if you don't look, screw up you will need to wait on a proper setup I run four pairs and I window them so that I can see all four at the same time I have more pairs up today just so we can one two three four five six I have seven pairs up today so hopefully we can find a trade I'm gonna take some bullshit trades meaning they're not gonna meet the rules but we're gonna go through the rules first the first thing we want is stock to be somewhere towards the top and coming down for a sell or somewhere near the bottom coming up for a buy if stock is red you want to be in a red candle the hourly candle needs to be red now how do we know how if the candle is big enough let me see if I can find one okay right here's a good example see in lines these are the two floating red lines see how in lines is now in this red candle that means the candles big enough the bigger the candle I'm not gonna say the better but we want in lines to be in a red candle that means it's formed enough this one isn't a good one I think I already missed it we can see that there's a there's a hold up right here so th this is a fast system and if you use a little bit of common sense like swing high swing lows like would this be a good trade to get into no because we have a swing high swing low here this shows us where our take profit is the second part of in lines will show you where the take profit is so if you're looking here price would need to drop to this for you to complete your trade let's open one just so you can see what happens the next thing we need if it's a sell we want the pinky line or red line as it might be on top green line on the bottom we want a crossover to occur this is a no sell, no sell or no sell time because in lines is not into the candle we're looking to take a sell see how in lines is not into the one hour candle that means the one hour candle going down is not big enough yet but see how quick it was big enough and now it is no longer big enough so let's mark if you no know, everyone comprehend how this works and then we'll look for a trade even if it's we're going to ignore stock for one probably just to get one in O-C-H. Okay, so first thing we need, rule one, stock must be at the top or the bottom. Second, we need a cr crossover. 
third inlines must be in the one hour candle. Inlines is these two floating red lines. So let's say we're looking to take a buy here. Stock is coming up. We have our crossover occurring. This is a little bit of a cheat. Just so you can see, and these move very fast. This is why you want to make sure you're following the rules because you can get stopped out very quick. Okay, so stock's coming up. It breached the 50 mark. We want it to be coming up through the 50. If it's way up top, then we don't have room to run. Okay, so this is no longer a good one to get into. This red line, remember, would have to be into the green one hour candle on your entry. When I did it, it was just barely there. We got our crossover. Now, is this the best trade? Fuck no, because what's the what's the um what's the sentiment of this right now? This is a downward trending market. We can easily see that. We have red, red, red. So most likely this is gonna putz around and then drop. So I went against the overall trend. Now, if you're worried about that. Let's go to insert, indicators, moving average, and let's dump a 140 in. There's what we know. So now we know that we want to be taking sells only. A buy is very risky. If it hits the four pips, wonderful. But I wanted to show a valid setup real quick. I will mark the valid setup, screenshot it, and save it. So this was my entry candle. Let me save it, and I'll post it so you can keep it. This was a valid setup, except for the fact we're going against the trend, which is going to make it very brutal. We want these things to be quick in and out trades. We don't want to f fuck around, basically. We want to be in and out quick. There's a picture. Other than the fact we're going against trend, that is a perfect setup. We got in it right when the crossover happened, and we're just hoping that it would hit four pips. If we are going with the trend, the shit would probably have hit. Now, so let's review again. Step one was stochastics had, was at the bottom, moving up. Step two, crossover occurred. Step three, inlines. The red lines were in our one hour candle moving upwards. So we were, we had a big enough candle. Now watch, I'm gonna get stopped out here. See how I said it was gonna putz around and then drop? That's why you wanna go with the trend. So the overall trend was there. Uh, step three, we had the crossover, we entered the trade, and you just let it run. Um, any questions on how to get into a trade? Now this one here, we have forming, would be a borderline. Just for the hell of it, it's too late. I wouldn't even get in. Have, crossover hasn't occurred yet. We know now we're in a better position, though. We're looking at a downwards trend. We're looking for a sell. What's the one thing we need to be aware of? This is actually good practice for you, too, to see support and resist. We want, here's inlines. Here's our support and resist. So we know we need price. Price needs enough room to run to here. From our entry, here's our take profit line moving. So if this line is below green, I know that that's risky because there's a chance that it's not going to be able to run because we have a good support and resist here or a swing low or a lower low, whatever you want to call it. This is a swing low. These are lower lows here. Everyone following along? Crossover, so let's do it, sell. Stock was coming, this one's a little more risky. Stock wasn't up at the top, but it was meh. But again, I'm just trying to show you all a couple trades to get the principle down. Now, if you follow these rules by the book, pretty much, you're gonna get some good setups. Um, honestly, you can get about 15 to 20 trades on four pairs in an hour or two. It's good practice. See, this one already got stopped out. Again, like I said, <sighs> the support's right here, so I'm not really messing with it too much. I'm gonna get into, once y'all get the concepts down, I'll give you some little pointers and cheats on it. Here's an entry candle. So what do I do is I wait for it. We'll get into the pointers later. Let's see if we can find a couple buys. Uh, let me copy the template so it has the 140 on it again. Okay, so here's one we're looking at. 140 on this one, what's it doing? It's flat. We don't want to touch this. This one's an ugly one. So this would be a 
just no touchy touchy situation we would not want to trade this chart because it's too flat this would be more of a yeah well not because of the spike but you could do binary options off this thing better than you could anything else now this one we have a downward moving this one's looking a little bit better that we could use it flat pass downward moving good flat pass but we can see this thing starting to trend up and this is starting to move up down here me not so much if you're having difficulties zoom out one you can see it this is going to show you the overall trend we're up 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 we had a drop and up up so this one eh, I'd say out of 10 we we'll give it a 7 out of 10 on could we trade it we're looking for sharply trending markets this one we can see the big drop MA is starting to angle down a bit it's a little bit better and here's the one we are. This is ideal. We just have a, the 140 heading downwards. Everyone get the idea by using the 140 moving average on what we're looking for for a good chart? Let's see if we can find a shitty buy anywhere. We need a green candle, which this is the only green candle we have. Now, if you want to use this type of thing, you can expand your take profit stop loss and bring it into... Uh, into more of a two to one risk reward ratio. This is a one minute chart though, so it's dangerous. I've used this on one and five minute charts, so it can be used on both. I mean, the basis of the system can be used up to 15. You could use it on anything actually, but this is for entertainment purposes. I, I Okay, not entertainment purposes as it doesn't work. It's a good, how would you say, it's a good exercise in learning to make quick decisions by using the charts, support and resist, or swing high and swing lows. It's a good way to get repetition in on the charts. Like on a Friday, if you're bored and you want to scalp, it gets your basic principles of scalping drilled into your head because literally between four charts, I'm saying I'm, I'm, you can do about 30 trades in two hours, upwards of 50 sometimes. This will drill the repetition you need into your head. Like here was, like on this one, right away is what you should see is, yes, it ran up, but, oops, wrong way but we had a swing high here, but it closed above it, Dro immediately dropped back down. You just need, it'll help you become aware of those things very quickly. Um, I'm not seeing any buys. Let's go to, if we're looking for sells on this one, is this a valid setup? No, remember, inlines has to be in the candle. So red, this inline has to be into a red candle. So this right here is a no setup because inlines is not into an hourly candle. So remember that's part of your setup. This one in lines, if we we're going to take a buy, is in right here and here, and we wait for the crossover. Um, we're going to look at a second version of this that y'all might like. So give me a second, we'll get that loaded up. That it does away with the crossovers and. It, if y'all, if everyone's tried it, we're gonna throw urban towers onto the chart. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you. It's a bunch of MAs. It doesn't dirty up the chart too much, though. Basic concept there. Remember, we're looking for trending market like this, not a flat market like this. This one's getting there. This one's eh, a little better. Don't rely 100% on this MA. I mean, it's just a guide to see. You should be able to eyeball it and say, yep, that shit's trending, I'm going to get in. This right here is kind of a consolidation mess, which will play into the fact that none of them worked out. So let's find... Okay, so I'm going to go indicators list. I'm going to remove... my two 5 MAs. I'll leave the 140 on there. Okay, so if we go over to Navigator, let's look at the second way we can do this indicators and let's look for urban we're gonna go for the urban towers ultimate edition let me make sure that's what I gave y'all shit folders empty son of a bitch I killed all the indies that were there uh, okay so I have to go back and load those up because now the freaking uh Dropbox templates empty. Hey, did anyone um, download those and still have them in their Indies folder that you could uh, just send them to me as a pack so I can copy them back in? I don't want to do it one at a time. If you get a chance, just Skype me the, like, zip it and Skype it to me, the download that you did. 
You know, I used Dropbox and they're already gone. Okay, so we're going to do Urban Towers Ultimate Edition. We're going to leave everything as it is. You can even leave the alerts on. Uh, we're going to leave Show MA to True, and we'll see why in a second. Okay, so this is Urban Towers. It's basically MAs. This will change the rules a tiny bit on how you use it. Well, not the rules on how you use it. You're, this will give you an alert first off. Instead of using the crossovers, what you're going to see is, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see these, and I'll remove. Okay, same rules as before. Stock needs to be, for the most part, coming from the bottom. You can somewhat not rely on stock as heavy. Stock is a filter for you. Once you're good with price action, the stochastic can be... I would say disregarded a bit, but I wouldn't get too stupid. Keep it there as like a, I guess you could say a reference. Give me a sec. Okay, so the rules are going to be pretty much the same. Let's uh, flip over all the charts. I'm going to keep them zoomed in a little bit like this. Remember, you always want to zoom out a little bit. Check the overall trend. This thing's flat. Eh, we missed the one spike up, but it's flat again. This is a this is Euro USD. If you're trading bins, this is a good one to trade today because it's ranging. But let me uh, flip all templates real quick, and then we'll save it as version 2. And then I'll tell you what you're looking for with these MAs and when not to trade. Script, script, script. Uh... Okay, we went red. So this means, this is what we're waiting on. We are in a no trade time. It means we're five minutes towards the end of the candle. Copy template to all charts. I don't want to save the template right now. It might make it. We just got a down alert from Urban. We're going to ignore it. The chart's red. 10 minute break. I am going to pause recording again. And I'm not recording anymore, I don't think. Son of a bitch. Oh, no, I am. Good. Let me pause recording. Okay, so we got three minutes left. Um, I'm going to zoom in on these so we can see what's going on. Oops, we forgot to load template on everything. And copy template to all charts. There we go. We'll probably start getting some alerts too. Remember, while it's red, it's no trade. Uh, some pointers before we look at some of these. Right now, I said use a four pip take profit, four pip stop loss. What you want to do to help improve your results on this, and this is with any trading system, you need to look at the average candle size. What I mean by that is bring up your crosshairs, hold it down, and drag. The first number we see, this is a 11 pip candle. If we're using a 3-pip take profit, 3-pip stop loss, we're going to get white pretty quick. We want our take profit and stop loss to kind of mimic the average size of the candles. Let's go through and look. The next thing we want, we want this to be the, uh, we want the MAs not to be bunched up like this shit here. That was changing directions. If they're constantly changing directions, that's a no-go. We want, let me find a good one, we want them like this right here, spread out nice. Now we had a pullback, so we know they're going to pull together, but they were spread out nicely. So this would have been a decent one to get into right here. This one was against the trend, we would ignore. This one was at the end where it went red, we would ignore. Uh, we got about one minute left. If you have questions, guys, feel free to ask. Um, other than that, I'm going to leave it zoomed in so we can see this. And the thing will automatically turn our colors back for us. But while it's red, we're in no trade. That means we're at the bottom of the hour or moving into the top of the hour. And it will stay red for the last five minutes and the first five minutes of an hourly candle. So that's a pretty good indication you don't want to be trading. Higher time frames, not so much. One hour, we want to avoid it because shit jumps around at the close and the open of the candle. The binary options, I honestly, I stick to that rule too. Bottom of the hour, top of the hour, I will halt trading for a little bit. That's why you all, you'll you see me a lot of times when I'm watching the videos at the top of each hour. I'll go get a drink or I'll take a potty break, do whatever. So it's 9.05. Now what you can do on this is move the uh, top of the hour one or the new hour one to 4 instead of 5. So right at 5 minutes because right now it's going to not turn black until 6 minutes. And then once it turns black, I'll show you what I mean by that. I forgot to change that. I'm sorry. I'm a failure. Let's look through the charts. Now, the let's see, benefits of using the Urban Towers is it's going to give you alerts for when to look at the chart. I personally prefer the crossovers to this, but both of them will give you some slightly different trading opportunities. 
We got about 16 seconds till this goes black. 14, 13. La la la. Okay, we should go black here in just a second. Back to normal. Why did we not switch back? There we go. Okay, so indicator. So what, as I was talking about, is if you go into the indicators list, change background color. Minutes before 5, minutes after, switch it to 4. And that'll give us right at 9.05 or 5 minutes after the hour, it will do it. So let's apply that to all templates again. And done. Okay, do we have any questions before we, I guess they move on. See, if we were doing crossovers, we would have had a, an alert here. Remember, we want the stock to be above or slightly below the 50 mark. We don't want it to be down here at the bottom. You will get the feel for it. as a, this, Again, this is just a general rule to get you going if you're new. Once stock's down here, it will bog down and it'll start reversing upwards. It should. It's not always going to do it. If we look here, and eh, so far it's following it, but there's going to be examples where stock will just ride the bottom, ride the bottom, and it doesn't reverse and go up. Now the Urban Towers does look at a few other things other than just this. So I won't get into it if you want the link. Just Google Urban Towers. You'll find the Forex Factory thread that explains how it works. This just kind of adds to the predictability of it a little bit. Okay, so we got USD JPY. Let's jump there and take a look at what we got. Okay, so see how fast this thing is? already missed entry because I flipped by the chart twice. This would have... Here's stochastics, what I'm talking about. See, it's bottomed out. You will learn when to ignore this. So what are the other things we want to look at? Here was a swing low. It's breaching below it. That would have been a dangerous one. Let's zoom out a bit. And we are kind of flat. Did we have news? You could check on that too. This one for me would have been a no touchy because our swing lows are right here. It didn't close below them. Now if this would have closed below them, then yeah, it probably would have jumped in. But you see how right there the just basic trading rules that you should have ingrained into your head get tested and they get tested very quickly because you look here first thing you need to do is look to the left here was a swing low it did close lower than it but we have two more so here's a support and resist we have a, a support here down here at the bottom that it didn't breach it touched it and bounced off it that right there you see the inlines is here it's showing you it did not close below it so you see how using this, whether you, I say demo on it, but it's going to start drilling into the things you need to be aware of on the chart very quickly, especially with this many charts open. We're going to, you'll see alerts popping all the time. You jump, look, use your basic, not basic rules, but just the, the, the you, ever, you should all, I'm trying to think how to explain this. There's basic principles in trading that you should be aware of. Swing high, swing low, and where the price is according to that and how it closed is one of the biggest things you need to be aware of, whether you're trend trading or reversal trading. This will drill it into your head. If you're having a day where you can't trade binary options, this is a good thing to switch to. It's 34 seconds left. I really should wait on this to close, but I'm going to show you what happens when you jump the gun. So I open a trade. And look what happens. It hit that area again, and what it do? It bounced. So you want to wait towards till the end of your candle to make sure you have a good entry. But let's see what happens. We are going with a slightly downwards trend overall. It is not an amazing downtrend. So this is kind of an ugly trade. Now, if I was trading this normal, here's one of the things you need to look at. You could adjust your stop loss. Would really be up here is what I would say. This, but then your take profit would be slightly larger too. So what do I mean by that? And I'll show you. If it doesn't, well it already stopped me out. Can't. Did not wait to the end of the candle, see what happens. It dropped down, looked great, and it reverses up because I did not wait to the end of the candle. Now the end of the candle, what did it tell me? Let's look. The end of the candle right here, the swing low was exactly the same as it. So did it breach lower than our swing low that we were looking at? No, it didn't. It was uh, what we'd call an amb ambiguous, amb 
ambiguous candle. Gave us no information on what was going on. <sighs> so you see the dangers of getting in early. You want to kind of wait. So here's the last four, three. Nope, we have no entry here because it's a green candle and nothing going on. This is what goes through my head on a 5-minute chart, a 15-minute chart, and a 1-hour chart. We're just going to get a lot more repetition out of it right now. Let me show you right here. So here's what I was talking about with um, the uh, take profit and stop loss line, if it forms up to anything half decent at the end. If, it, if we have a red candle here, I'm going to open up one more trade, then I'm going to just... And this is something that you need to get in the process, too, for your take profit and stop loss. Normally, I will use a take profit and stop loss of, like, 30, and then I adjust it into where it should be on the chart. You need to be able to quickly look and adjust your take profit and stop loss. I know a lot of you all, all, if you watch my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. Some of you all might not have any clue at all. What we're looking at here, though, is price is possibly, because it's hitting a good support and resist, Price could possibly be doing this. It's going to curve around and start moving up. We have a range right here. This right here is uh, UJ. And again, this is a great binary option. If you're doing reversal trading, this is a great chart to be doing reversal trading. Oh, shit, it dropped. Let me hit sell. Now, here it is. Here's my... It would come up here because this is... For one, if you're in the middle of a candle and you take profits there, you want it at least at the close of the previous candle, the top of it. I'm not going to adjust the take profit just so you can see how it runs. This was a good setup other than stochastics. The take profit is a little bit tight and the stop loss is a little bit tight. But that's how your trades want to run. The, remember the one thing I said is you want to look at the average candle size. Our average candle size right now are 7 pips. So what I would really prefer to do would be to do 10, 10, and then drag that puppy in. We could do take profit, well stop loss would remain 10 because we want it, the way it is right now our stop loss could get there, open the trade and it could bounce into it immediately and close the trade right away. We need the stop loss to be posted out a little bit bigger than it should be then drag it in. That gives us time to get the trade in. A one minute chart this is going to be difficult and it's going to make you think fast so don't worry about it. Orders indicator is there so you can go back and review the trade. Okay, so take profit. We know that's about a 7 pip. So let's take 2 off that. We'll go with a 5 pip take profit then. Because we know our candles are bigger than 5 pips. So if the candle moves our direction, we're going to get a 5 pip. Everyone catching on? Um, getting the concepts behind it? Now, if we look, once you get the hang of this, you could actually get into a decent trade here. We're using the urban towers. But look what we got going on. If you were just normal scalping, not this 3, 5 pip scalps, doing a normal scalp, we have a great entry here if you followed the rules. Look at what we had. The first arrow we had was right here. Stochastics had just breached the 50. You could have gotten that trade and let it ride for a bit. So you should start seeing that, that, hey, I'm screwing around, I'm playing with it. What we're trying to do is force repetition. If you're going to look at this to take money or to actually make money, then the way I use it is not this way. But, well, it's this way except for the fact that my take profit and stop loss are larger. But I'm using average candle size to determine that. Personally, I would say use like a 5 and 5 to get started or a 5 take profit and a 10 pip stop loss and practice moving that stop loss to where it needs to be you need to get the repetition in before you're going to become successful. Then from there, once you start getting proficient at figuring out your take profit and stop loss on the fly, then you can start making sure your money management's right and you're going to start making money. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps it up on the recording side of things. I'm going to stop the recording and then we'll have a little bit of fun. USDCHF just popped. We'll look at that real quick and cable. Okay, here's USDCHF. Do we have a valid trade? No. It's upwards. we got a big red candle coming down. Skip it. Cable. We have stochastics is shitty, so this is not a high probability. Swing high, swing low. we got room. Look down here, so let's get in it, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so inlines is in the hourly candle. Personally, again, 
I would say it comes up here. See, we would have got stopped out immediately. Now, was this a good trade? No. Look at stochastics. It's already heading up. I just... So, we'll talk about a couple things as this runs. We had it here. In lines on the thing was first. But the first thing we need to look at is stochastic. Stochastic was bottomed out. So, meh. That's a warning sign. We, don't pro we probably don't want to get in. It would have been better to get in up here. We want it above the 50 line or right as it's hitting it. Um... See how quickly the alerts are passing and how you're going to get your repetition in super fast? It's one of the good things about this. You will get your learning repetition in fast. We're going to let that one run. This was not a good one because of stochastic situation. Everything else was a good setup. If it hits take profit, we're very lucky. We adjusted stop loss immediately up to the previous here. That's where it needed to be. Here was way, way too tight. We wanted up above a previous close. Yeah, there's sound. Okay, so we had AUD USD pop. Let's look there real quick. Upwards arrow into a red candle. We're passing. Simple as that. Stochastics is coming up. It looks nice. Overall, look at, let's zoom out a bit so we can see. What's our what's our overall direction telling us? It's downwards. We want to pass. Okay, so even though we had a downwards arrow, pass. These ugly. Why? Stochastics didn't match up. So all this shit here was all passes because nothing lined up on our rules. Okay, so next, I'm going to pause it, or I'm going to turn off recording, we're done, uh, and then we're going to continue.